All right, so as promised, here's the video about my trailer that I modified to haul kayaks. This is a five foot by eight foot uh, utility trailer from Tractor Supply Company. I got it used, got a good deal on it. Just your basic ramp trailer. The ramp doesn't come off, so the ramp is actually folded all the way in and then I've got some heavy duty zip ties holding it on, you know, so it doesn't bounce. Because if this isn't tied down, it bounces real bad up, up to that piece of Unistrut and the PVC. Um, what I did is I drilled holes right here, six spots, three on each side. And it's just bolted underneath the Unistrut. This is the bigger size unit strut. I don't remember exactly what the measurements are, but that's a 3 8 bolt. Um, we've got three of them running across. And the reason that I did it this way with the unit strut is if I need to use my utility trailer to haul my lawnmower, do any utility things, I can take out six bolts and pull this whole kayak rack off. So I still have my utility trailer if I need it. And then the PVC that I used, I didn't use schedule 40 you know the white stuff for plumbing I used the PVC conduit this is let me see I forget what size this actually is I think it's three inch but let me actually find the measurement on it get me a line all right come on yeah it's three inch I finally found it three inch PVC what I did is I took I think this is a one inch Maybe an inch and a quarter. I don't remember. It might be a one inch uh, hole saw. Put a big hole here so I could put a washer in there. A big washer. The washer barely fits through this hole. And that's a half inch bolt. And that half inch bolt comes down to these unistrut bolts or nuts, I guess. Um, they're spring loaded so they go in there and I can loosen these up and move these if the if I need to haul a boat that's maybe a, got a wider uh, area between the scuppers or however I want the PVC to hit the boat I can literally just take a ratchet loosen it up slide these in and out back and forth but you notice there's six spots that's not for three kayaks um, when I'm hauling a single kayak if I'm just hauling mine it rides in the middle if I'm hauling two then one rides on each side and with my lures the lure 13 fives the boats come to about right here so there's really not enough room for another boat. Maybe a real skinny one turned up on its side. But that's the that's the gist of it. Unistrut, three inch PVC, unistrut nuts, half inch bolts, and you just drill the holes and try to get everything lined up the best you can. I mean, those are fairly straight. I wouldn't say they're perfect, but they're fairly straight. Then the only other thing I did to this trailer to make this work is this tongue originally you can see where I cut it right there where it's welded. Um, it was originally only, basically if I had my boat in the middle and my boat was centered on the trailer, the nose of the boat came exactly over the hitch on the trailer, right over the, the ball hitch. So what I did is I cut it. Uh, a buddy of mine does some welding and he has all the equipment at his house. So I cut it and I put a four foot section of tubing that was the same size as what the trailer was originally made out of. So now my tongue from the nose of my trailer to my ball is seven feet, about. I think it's actually a little over, but if it's over, it's only about a couple inches. Um, and I extended the wires. So, you know, I just cut them, got more wire to make the extension, butt connectors, you know, heat shrink, all that crap. Extended the wires so um, I didn't have to put a whole new connector on it. It's the same connector that was on there. I just extended it. And then that's a 1 and 7 eighths ball. I wish it was a 2 inch, but you know, I would have changed it, but I would have to, I would have had to cut that one off because it's welded, get another one, drill the holes. So I said, screw it. If I change it to a 2 inch ball later, I will, but right now it, it's fine. I don't haul any other trailers for the most part, but most of the other trailers that my buddies have are two inch balls so it'd be nice if it all matched that way we didn't have to swap pitches every time we tried to pull a different trailer 
Um, but that's that's pretty much it as far as how it's put together. Super simple. I saw this idea. Uh, a guy had an old jet ski trailer that he made to haul a 14 foot kayak. This is the same concept, except um, I made it a little bit more robust, I guess you could say. Um, but I'll get the kayaks on there and I'll show you how they sit on the on the trailer, one in the middle, and then I'll show you what it looks like with both on each side. And here it is with one boat. Uh, whenever I haul just my boat by itself, this is how it sits. I'll show you how it kind of rides. This is a 13 half foot boat. These are 10 foot long, so there's overhang on front and back. Um, but my handles line up with the Unistrut, which this makes a really good, sorry if it's windy, this makes a really good anchor point for straps. is why I like it as you can see it rides right on each side of the keel of this boat and puts all the support in the strongest part of this boat right on the scupper hole and of course this boat the way it's designed it rides in between these PVCs really really well not all boats are shaped like this so if you're building one of these what I would suggest Space these out the exact width of your scupper holes or as close as you can get. What you want is you want these to ride either as close to the keel as possible or in the lowest area on each side of your boat because you don't want the boat to rock. I mean that's the whole thing. You want to be able to tie it down and not worry about the boat rocking. All the pressure be distributed through the whole length of the boat rather than let's say if I just had the unistrut. I'll be putting all the pressure of this boat plus the straps on one spot or with these the PVC I spread out that load over the length of the whole boat so you don't get those dents in the bottom of your boat and let's say it's a really hot day and I have them strapped up for a long road trip or you know let's say that they're just strapped on the trailer for a couple hours out in the heat still strapped down tight like like I was gonna go down the road with them um, it's not gonna dent the holes it's not going to be putting too much stress in one spot but that's that's pretty much the concept is it rides in the in the strongest part of the boat and supports it the whole way and that's the whole that's the whole gist of the way that this trailer is designed but it sits on here really good but here's a reference on where the tongue used to be the old tongue was basically right here so I extended it by quite a bit, as you can see. But I needed that extension because if I'm backing up my truck and I turn my truck 90 degrees to my trailer, it's not saying that I would do that, but if I did, I'm not gonna hit the nose of my boat on the side of my truck. So, and I can run, if I have something in my truck, I can drop my tailgate and be able to pull the boats with my tailgate down. But alright, well I will show you what it looks like with two boats and then that will give you a, pretty much a complete overview of the trailer and how it works and how it looks loaded with two boats. And here it is. Here's how it says with two boats. The outside edge of the boats, I mean as you can see is like just a touch over past my fenders on my trailer. And these boats are really wide. So, I can't fit three boats with the boats that I have. But if you were to have narrower boats, it'd be really easy to fit three boats on this same setup of a trailer. So, depending on the width of the boats, you could easily fit three. It just so happens with the width of my boats, two is as wide as I can go. Um, there's just no way that I can fit them. I, I did some testing. And if I move these pipes all the way out to the very edge of the unistrut, then I, I can fit three. But the boats are hanging out, you know, half the width of the boat past the axle. And I don't, it's already top heavy enough. I don't want to put all the weight out to the sides like that. 
especially if I'm just hauling two boats because that puts all the weight on the outside corner or outside edges but super easy to load the boats you just put the key, the keel on the front of the boat up on the back of the tubes and you just slide the boat on this PVC is really really slippery so it's really easy to slide the boats on and off you know by yourself even these big boats um, and another thing that one of my buddies had brought up when I was talking about building this trailer and extending the tongue he was worried about stress on the trailer you know because I extended the tongue so far he was worried that it was going to be too much weight you know on that extended tongue and uh, when this thing is unhooked from the truck I can lift the t I bet you there's probably only about maybe 80 pounds of tongue weight on the tongue right now with the boat centered on the trailer so it's not like there's a lot of weight on the tongue almost all the weight the way that this this is set up is centered over the axles I mean you can see the boats are nearly dead center on the trailer so almost all the weight of these boats is centered over the axles um, and like I said I can have both of these boats loaded out with gear you know all my tackle in both boats and pick up the tongue of my trailer and wheel the trailer around or hook it up to my truck with both the boats already rigged out um, so it's not bad it's not nearly as bad as you would think it would be so this is my DIY kayak trailer that I kind of had to build out of necessity um, even one 13.5 lure going in the back of a truck is difficult much less trying to figure out how you're going to haul two of them so I went ahead and built the trailer and it's been working great um, taking it on quite a few decent hauls so far no problems. I mean, I intend to pull this thing as far as Michigan next year. Um, I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. I, I'm that confident in it. Just go over all the nuts, make sure all, everything's locked down tight, and hit the road. But um, if you didn't see my overview of these two boats that I posted yesterday, you should definitely check it out. If you're interested in the Feel Free Lure series of boats, in my opinion can't beat them um, you know and the lures are lures a lure whether it's a 10 11.5 or a 13.5 they're all the same boat it's just that they're longer like the width is the same whether it's the 10 foot or the 13 and a half so until next time catch you later